Hi, I'm Audrey Childers, your Public Information Officer for the Darlington County School District with a summary of the March 12, 2018 board meeting. Hold on, there was a lot of information and it was a long meeting. The meeting began when two parents from Darlington High School asked the board to consider helping the school purchase new band uniforms for the band students. Next, the school board approved first reading on several policies. These are all existing policies that were just revised to reflect changes in the laws or the school needs. The policies were about health education, special education programs for students with disabilities, the school year, admission of homeless students, and student protest demonstrations and strikes. You can find these policies on our website at www.darlington.k12.sc.us. Next, a representative from Webster Rogers LLP, our audit firm, made a presentation to the board about the 2016-2017 General Operations Financial Audit. The audit was late being submitted to the state because of key personnel changes within the district, but it has been submitted and has been accepted. The audit itself is massive, but the bottom line is that we received a good, clean audit opinion in the words of our auditor. You can find the audit online at our website. Lisa Fagan, our lead social worker, updated the board on the work of our social workers and facilitators in the schools this year. It is absolutely astonishing what they've done so far just this year. Since the beginning of the year, they've worked with more than 185 homeless students, made more than 2,000 parent visits, had more than 2,000 staff consults, transported students and parents to meetings, doctor's appointments, and other appointments, and done so much more. In all, our school social workers and school community facilitators have had more than 10,000 interactions with our families this year. Take a moment to thank them for all they do for our students. Next, Diane Sigmund gave us an update on the progress of the Digital Transformation Project and the board reviewed monthly budget reports. They approved project changes for the Lamar Concession Project, contract amendments for companies working with new schools, new courses for our school year, and locker room renovations for Darlington High. They also approved the establishment of a summer maintenance project fund to be used for maintenance and repairs for schools, vehicles, and equipment over the summer. During our superintendent update, Dr. Bill Boyd welcomed Renee Douglas, our new chief financial officer to the district. He applauded the hard work of our social workers, school community facilitators, and family school facilitators for making such a difference for our students and families. And he reminded board members that it's the deadline for filing their ethics report. During the board member input, all of our board members welcomed Chief Financial Officer Renee Douglas to the district and commended the social workers on the wonderful job that they're doing in our schools. Mr. Connell Delane told the board that the Darlington County Intervention School recently held an excellent program with the Justice Department and the Darlington County Institute of Technology had a great program with SIMT. Both schools are working very hard within our community. Warren Jeffords thanks Dr. John Timms for his hard work on behalf of the district for the audit. He was pleased that it was a clean audit and he hopes the community recognizes that. Wanda Hassler recently visited North Hartsville Elementary School and spent time in Miss Stacy Bannister's second grade classroom. The students in Miss Bannister's classroom were reinterpreting children's stories and it was very impressive to see the interpretation skills and the vocabulary skills they were using. She commended the students and the teacher. Maureen Thomas pointed out that the hard work of our social workers and facilitators helps our students have a fair shot at success across the board and she thanked them for their endless hours and steadfast support of our children. Mr. Charles Govan welcomed Ms. Douglas to the district and asked that the administration please gather more information about Darlington High School's band request for an upcoming board work session. Dr. Thelma Dawson thanked Dr. John Timms and Ms. Douglas for their hard work and the clean audit. She asked for more information about the band feeder programs at the middle and elementary school levels. This prompted a very healthy discussion about art feeder programs throughout the district. Finally, Chairman Jamie Morphus talked about the three new schools. The locations for the new schools have been announced and can be found listed on our website. As Mr. Morphus said, it was unbelievable the hoops the district had to jump through in order to buy some land. 
To identify the land, we had to meet an extensive list of criteria as well as work with outside agencies such as the Department of Transportation and the Office of School Facilities. But the board is looking forward to breaking ground. We'll be hosting a series of community meetings to share design information and early drawings on the new schools with our community members and parents at the end of the month. Chairman Jamie Morphis also welcomed the new superintendent, Dr. Tim Newman, as well as the new chief financial officer. Carlita Davis, our assistant superintendent for curriculum instruction and assessment, shared with the board that the district would be hosting a series of statewide meetings about our EVOS system. So there will be a lot of visitors within our district over the next few days. I also shared with the board information about this weekend's upcoming art in business program from 3 to 5 p.m. Sunday at Hartsville Middle School. Finally, the board went into executive session to hear from Dr. Rainey Knight about the salary survey the board commissioned her to do. They came out of the executive session and took no action other than to adjourn the meeting. And that's what happened at the board meeting on March 12, 2018. Thank you.